Hello there, good morning, and welcome to Monday Morning Mastermind. I'm Beth Caldwell, and I'm sharing tips with you on how to be successful in life and business. Because as women, we just don't separate the two, do we? So this morning, I taught a workshop on how to polish your personal and professional brand, which is something that is good to do right now when you may have a little extra time, when all of your group events have been canceled, and some of us are still working from home. So your personal brand is basically your image, your personal image combined with your professional presence. That's what a brand is, okay? And one thing that you can do to very easily improve your brand is check your voice message. What does your voice message say about you? Have you ever called somebody in June and you get their voice message and you go to leave them a message and it says, uh, I'm on vacation, I'll be back in the office on September 29th, has that ever happened to you? Or um, how about if you call somebody and their voice mailbox is full, has that ever happened to you? That's happened to me twice this week. By the way, if your voice mailbox is full, I know how that is, that's happened to me. You can um, delete, very quickly on your iPhone, you can just go in and erase all deleted messages, which will give you up, give you up some quick space. Um, have you ever called somebody and the phone has rang five or six or seven times and then a computer answers? You have reached 410-222-5656 and you think, who was I calling, right? Has that ever happened to you having that computer generated voice mailbox. So let me tell you something, your voice message is a very easy way to, to portray a very professional image. And I, when I talk to people about their brand, I want you to, to create your brand for where you're going, for where you want to be. So if you want to receive a promotion, or if you want to be recognized by the media or interviewed by the media, if you wanna get speaking engagements, when you record your voice message, act as if you're already doing that, okay? Now in my book, I have several examples of sample voice messages, even messages that you can list when you're away from the office or even on maternity leave, there's examples. But for today in this video, I wanna give you just a couple tips. Number one, call your voice message see what it sounds like. Is there any background noise? Are there children playing? Do you have your kids actually your message? And that's totally fine for your home or personal voicemail, but not for your work. One of the things that I see people do all the time, especially women, I'm sorry. Hi, this is Beth. I'm sorry I can't take your call right now. I'm really busy helping all my clients because I'm really nice, right? Don't sound like that. You don't ever hear call a man's phone and he says, hey, I'm so sorry, I can't take your call, right? What do, what do men say on their voice message? This is John, you've reached the phone of John, leave a message, right? <laughs> they make it so simple. We make these so, so complicated, so don't do that. So uh, your voice message, include your name, include your title. Don't apologize, uh, don't have any background noise and make it, make it be as if a news producer from a large national television station as if they were to hear that message and say, oh, this sounds like a person we want to interview. So re-record your voice message, act as if, and that's a simple tip to polish your brand. I'm Beth Caldwell, and I will see you next week with more tips for success in life and business. Have a great week. Bye-bye.